Hey guys, so something bad happened to my car. Oh boy. And I've had my new um, rims on for a month. So happy with them and then something bad happened. Yeah. Curb rash. So we're going to fix that today. <clears throat> we went out and got a couple different things to, to deal with it. The first thing I did is gave my car a really, really good wash. And I've cleaned the rims really, really well, sprayed it with the rubbing alcohol. And um, so what I'm going to do is use a couple different things. I don't mind my fingers here. I uh, broke up a dog fight and got bit pretty good a week ago and it's starting to heal. But we're going to use the Tester's uh, Graphite Metallic. It's basically like a modeling paint, sort of. And uh, from everything I've researched, it seems to be the closest match. A little bit tricky to find. You can get it at like hobby shops, toy, like specialty toy stores where they have, you know, models that you paint and stuff like that. Um, Michael's doesn't seem to have any, but places like that have it. And I'm going to uh, use a, an airbrush to spray it on. But the first thing I got to do is sand down the rim to get all the nicks out and get it smooth. So for that, I'm using several different grit sandpapers. I'm going to start off with a 320 grit, which isn't too abrasive, but it has enough. And then I'm going to work my way up till I get it smooth. Okay, so I'm going to take a small piece of the 320 and I'm basically just going to work it back and forth just to remove some of the uh, deep parts. That's just what has to happen. And right now, I just want to get the rough edges off it. So I'll pause it and I'll come back. Okay, so that's the first little bit with the uh, 320 grit. So here, I was just trying to smooth this out, get out the major gouges because it needs to be smooth. Otherwise, we're going to see it. So what I'm going to do next is just going to spray it. This is just Dawn dish soap and water. And I'm just gonna wipe it off, get it nice and clean here again, and then double check to make sure I'm nice and smooth. Okay, so next we're gonna uh, do an 800 grit, and uh, this is gonna be a dry sand, and we're just gonna work on smoothing it out a little bit. Uh, I gotta wipe it a little bit, I got some more dust, so I'm gonna uh, wipe that again, and then go at this, and then after that, we are going to move up to a uh, 1500 grit um, and we're going to do a wet sand with this and this should really start to smooth it out and then finally we're going to do a 2000 grit wet sand and then after that we should be good for a final cleaning and then we're going to start um, uh, probably put some type of cards in here because tape probably won't stick too well it also depends if i can shove the cards in here depending on how tight they are and i'll probably put couple rags in here so I don't get uh, uh, over spray and uh, we'll see what we can do so I'll be back okay so we're done with the 800 and when I rub my finger across it it's feeling really smooth I'm not feeling any of those nicks at all so I'm just gonna keep going up so next we're moving up to the 1500 and we're gonna wet this one so what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray the uh, rim with soap and water and also spray the uh, sandpaper itself and we're just gonna keep going okay so I've worked my way up to the 2000 grit and this is perfectly smooth it's uh, I can't feel any little nicks or anything you know that you would get uh, like your fingernail or anything caught on it just feels smooth and I did a little bit down here too just so for blending and I kind of gave it a little bit of a grit uh, it's still smooth but just a little bit for the paint to bite into. So um, next, we're gonna just spray this with uh, some alcohol, wipe it one final time, and then we'll start trying to uh, block things up so that way I can uh, start spraying and uh, see how this goes. Okay, so this looks absolutely horrible, but it, that doesn't matter, it's gonna work. Basically took a little cue cards, shoved them in there, but because of the, the wind, I don't see it's blowing a couple, anyway. I guess I'm going to fix that back up. I'll be back. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is take my airbrush. Just 
do some light misting back and forth. As I get further down here, I'm moving it back a little bit more so it can blend a little better. So that's the first coat. So I'm just going to kind of let that dry. Give that a few minutes and then uh, come back and do another coat probably about 10 minutes so I'll be back so that was the first coat so I'm gonna let this dry for about 10 minutes or so and uh, come back and do another coat and uh, see how it goes okay so it's not a hundred percent dry but it's pretty dry and I mean it's not perfect but it's pretty close like you know it's nice and smooth it's still a bit wet so we'll see how it looks when it dries out a bit but the curb rash is definitely gone and uh, the color blend is pretty good I mean, there's a few spots that look a little bit dark but I think that's just because the paint's still a bit wet we'll see how it does when it dries but uh, all in all, I'm pretty happy with that.